Hello crafters, I'm Jan B and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I'm going to share with you some products that will be available from the 5th of September in our new Christmas catalogue. Unfortunately I'm not allowed to show you the inside of the catalogue, this is all I'm allowed but I can show you the products that I've been um, able to purchase on pre-order. So I'm going to start off with with the stamp sets that don't have dies with them and the first one is a background stamp I think if I leave it like that you're not getting any glare on here are you? <laughs> I'm getting it all um, but it's alright I know what they're called um, so this one's a background stamp set called Buffalo Check but to me this is Gingham which is um, a brilliant background stamp for any cards that you do whether they're Christmas cards or uh, birthday cards or any events it will go you can do whatever color your color scheme is and to me that is worth its weight in gold a stamp set like that so I'm really pleased with that one my next one is called candy cane season and this one actually has a punch to go with it that's that one Okay, so you can punch out the candy cane and the bow. The stamp set is actually um, two-step stamping. So that's the outline and that's the colouring. That's the stamp for the outline for the holly with the colouring. And then that's the colouring for the candy cane. And this is what you can punch out and you can punch that one out as well. And there's no reason why, if you wanted to, you could punch that out without the outline. And the same with that, you wouldn't need it. And you could also punch that one out on its own if you wanted, but that will stamp inside this one. Okay, so like most of uh, stamping up stamp sets, very, very versatile. The next one is called Feathers and Frost. And I love the outlines on these birds because um, they're done absolutely spot on for robins which um, I don't know if it's worldwide but they're certainly um, the Christmas bird in the UK I mean we have them all years round but um, it, it's more it's especially Christmas so the red breast so how they've done that bit really lovely and I'm really looking forward to colouring this and I can see sentiments going on the front of that and these little bits as well, ideal for finishing off. If you've got um, like a sentiment and you die cut it in a circle or a square or an oval or something and you've got quite a lot of white area left around it, then this is the kind of thing that I use. That, I imagine, is one stamp. Um, is that one stamp? No, it isn't. Oh, no. These are separate stamps as well, so that would be good. But stamping up, put it like that to show you what we can do with it. Um, that's photopolymer, that one. Um, the sentiment here says, The gift of your friendship means so much, especially at Christmas. That's lovely, isn't it? Haven't read that before. Then I have Illuminated Christmas. And although this doesn't have a die set to go with it specifically, those can be die cut with dies from the stained glass. And that is, that's upside down, that's the angel, which I think is really very clever. And the poinsettia there is that die. So if you've already got this one, you'll be able to uh, die cut those out nice and easily. So that's a really nice traditional type English, um, <laughs> traditional type English, traditional Christmas um, images really nice and then I have making everyday bright um, I did a little video where I showed you the products that we were given free by stamping up on the um, incentive trip at the end of July and one of the things we did receive was the um, bulb builder punch and this is what it goes with now this is great because this is not only going to be for Christmas um, this one here for example there's a little bunny in like half an egg so that's going to be Easter you've got little balloons there or those could be eggs as well for Easter you've got a little heart there which could be Valentine's 
a flower could be any kind of birthday. I love that, the um, fur cone. And these stamps here can be used as two-step stamping. So the that could be stamped into that one to colour that. That could be used inside any of these. Oh, I didn't notice that one as well. There's that one there which is like grass. Then you've got the uh, little penguin. There's just so many different bits and pieces to this. Um, going to have my uh, work cut out for me trying to come up with ideas for all of those little ones. This I love is called Many Blessings. I love this and this is not specifically Christmas. Um, it looks as if it's actually ivy so that could be used at any time and I love these corners. I use those a lot in when I'm decorating inside my cards and that one's got a Christmassy inside and if you're in the US I don't know about um, Australia, but I do know in the uh, US they do celebrate uh, fall. They make fall cards, and those would be absolutely brilliant for that. So, again, another one that's really very, very useful. I love this. Um, Peaceful Noel. Um, this is two-step stamping, like that and that, that and that, that and that. Um, I haven't worked out if these actually go with anything. Um, I need to play with it but I do wonder if that will go on top of that one. Um, oh that's another one that's uh, two step. Uh, again um, plenty on there to play with and many many ideas of uh, versatile is the word I'm looking for and a lovely fun one. I like this. Um, snowman, Mr and Mrs and she's holding the heart at the back there. Um, well, what can I say about that? I just love it. I love the little um, characters. This one I could see in like blue and lilac -y colours. I do like Christmas colours like the reds and greens, but I do like to use um, non-Christmas colours occasionally. And look at this bow. This is just absolutely divine. I love this. It is real chiffon type blow, uh, bow and quite easy to fussy cut I imagine. Um, and I like this bit here with the wreath. That, I'm thinking, if you stamp that, I wonder if you could stamp that on top of it as well, so the flowers are there. That's one of the things I will be trying. So that's another lovely stamp set. I'm going to move these down. I've got myself a little table set up down here so that I can move things out of the way. Because I do have quite a lot to show you. Right, the next stamp sets I'm going to show you are the ones that have got um, coordinating die sets. Uh, right, now if I put that up there. Now what I have bought is really just a fraction of what's available in the catalogue. Like this one, uh, Beautiful Baubles. When we were on the incentive trip, and we saw a demonstration used with that stamp and what had happened with it was it was stamped like three times across the width of the card. Hold on, let's get one. Okay, so it was three times across here. Um, and then with the dies that come with this set, I wanted to show you those bits. So, right, Okay, so this is a set of dies. Yeah, this is a set of dies. Um, this one, once you've stamped that, you can die cut those out. There we go, like that. And you can also die use this to die cut, stamp that, use this, die cut these shapes in um, a patent paper or foil or what have you and then you could use them to maybe if you were doing say one colour say red foil for example you could put the die cuts from here on two or three of these and um, that was the demonstration that we saw and it was really lovely the, the effect was brilliant now this set is just really really amazing which is why I got these bits here because I want to show you 
you've got that round bit there and then the edging so what those two do is it will die cut that and completely out if you just do that without the outer one let's see let me show you this if you use those two together you get that as a single sort of doily thing if you use just that then you get that it stays onto your card so what you can do is if you did it the correct size for your card you could have it like that or you could use just that one and then you get that shape okay so that's one two three ways you could use that and you also get that which comes out of the middle so how clever is that okay so you've got that and you've got those and then you've got these two standalone dies they there are no stamps with them um, just as I say totally standalone and to me the value for money you're getting with this set is just absolutely amazing because this is not um, just Christmas that can be used anytime I was really really pleased with this um, so that's called beautiful baubles and this one's called detailed baubles so let's put that one there let's move that out of the way now the next one the stamp set is called bring on the presents and there's a die for this this one here is in two bits so you could stamp that and you could stamp that to come underneath but that's got a die cut and so has that like this okay so that's this one this one here is for here and then this one is for the tails down there and what you do is you put that one on top of that one okay so that's the upper bit and that's the lower bit and I've positioned them like that so you can just imagine them coming down on top of each other that's this one that's a standalone and that is for that and these will go into that not that one obviously um, but also there are these dies and I just die cut those out I lay, put those two together so you can see what they look like if you put um, more than one on top of each other I mean no telling how many you could do and on this one I showed how you could do a square with it um, by just mitering that corner and lining it up so again another very very versatile um, set of dies brilliant bundle that one and again another one um, I love this um, because I wanted the tree and I wanted the house not quite so onto the um, what do you call that a lorry van uh, truck truck that's it um, but I will probably still use that one but the dies that go with it are these so you have a fence you have the house and the tree sorry let me stay in picture here right so you've got the fence the house and the tree you've got stitched shapes for the sentiments and a smaller one there you've got the little die there which die cuts six bows so that you could do garlands you could use them to decorate on the fence um, all sorts of things with that that's the die for the truck so this is what they look like the tree the house the truck these are the little bows there's two wreaths there and that's that one there um, and the uh, sentiments the one that I didn't know what was for was this straight well not straight line but the curved line so I went back to the catalogue to have a look to see what that was all about and basically what it does is it cuts this line here and that is so that 
if you had your fence and you're doing a snow scene you can have a piece of white cardstock and cut the top edge there and then you can put it over there so part of the fence is disappearing in the snow there is a photograph of that in the catalogue which unfortunately I can't show you um, but it's absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant and I'm really excited that we are getting more and more of these little dies the stitched shapes for our sentiments I really hope that that is a direction that stamping up carry on going in because I really do like um, the stitched look now this is the stamp set that was on top of my list as soon as I saw it I knew I had to have it I love this owl the detail on it is just absolutely stunning and it does have a set of dies to go with it. I have already made something with this, but if you watch, uh, did I, yeah, I did this as a video, didn't I? This is my latest video, um, but I also shared it on my blog. Um, in case you didn't see it, um, the leaves are from the um, leaf ribbon. I think we're only calling it leaf ribbon. Um, I just cut the leaves off individually and put it there. On the set of dies, which are here, we have that for the branch, which is the one I've used here. There's also a branch on here, but this is not the same as this. All right, so this is a standalone, and that is to be stamped straight onto your um, cardstock. The other dies that we have here, oh, sorry, I've got sidetracked there. Um, so I used the owl and that, but this background here, while I'm here, is I've used this, which is our chicken wire elements, and they come in individual sheets, and again on the video I showed how I used that, how I separated this and how I glued it down, um, but because I didn't use a whole lot of it, I didn't want to waste it, I saved the off cuts at the back here so if I do a project where I'm only going to use a little bit I can use that um, reduces the amount of waste okay so that's that one finished saying about that by the way this was a um, a post-it note holder I was had it in my mind to do a masculine um, gift um, you know like a teacher's thank you gift you get male teachers as well so I thought that was appropriate um, right now this one that die will die cut the um, owl and I think that that is the only um, die here that has a stamp to go with it but, oh apart from the sentiment that will go with that sentiment and that one there sorry I'm sure I'm going off camera there that's for the sentiment there and that's for that one there but the other ones I wasn't sure what I was going to think about that um, but once it had the eyes in it, I really liked that. And what you could do with this is... No, you can't because they're too different. Forget that. Um, but with these little stars or snowflakes... They're snowflakes, aren't they? Um, you can use that as um, so that you have a hole on your layer. And then underneath you could put um, a different colour, some maybe silver foil, what have you. Um, but that is the one that will cut that out and that has a nice extra little bit of detail there I don't know if you can see it through let me take that out so that way we don't get any glare there's a little um, indentation down there and there it just adds a nice little bit of character to it because it doesn't have a stamp to go with it and these here, again, in the catalogue, this is where I got this idea from, um, they had these branches, these little, uh, yeah, branches on these, where I've put these, and that was re really Christmassy um, to me because it's fir trees and Christmas trees. So that was the, the stamp set is called Still Night, and the dies are called Night Owl. So that's that bundle. The next bundle, again, lovely. Um, this one turned out quite a lot better than I expected it to be. 
um, two step stamping three step because you can do that one on there that there that I imagine can be stamped on here as well so it's like the ribbon coming down haven't tried it yet but I will do um, but the dies that go with this, this the stamp set is called Nothing Sweeter and the die set is called Sweetly Stitched and this is what you get um, you get a die each for the gift, the heart and the tree uh, one for that and one for that as well but you also get these as well and they don't cut but they give you this pattern isn't that lovely? I just absolutely love all these stitching and have a look at the different stitchings they've got on these okay that one's got crosses that's got like um, railway sloopers if you like don't know what else to say for that um, and stitching on that one I, as I say I haven't tried stamping with these and the dies at the same time um, but it can only make them look even better but with the dies you can use just the tree on its own you don't need to use the stitches like the heart you could do the heart on its own and also the gift on its own but it, I, I think it's these little stitches in the middle that really absolutely finish this one off so that's another great bundle and this one is called First Frost um, not a two step stamp with this one but very very um, detailed as in light and dark areas watercolour effect um, really really love that and the stamp set that goes with it or the die that goes with it let's move that out of the way for a minute um, now what did I decide this that one there die cuts that that one is for that these two are for this one that's for that so they've nearly all got um, in fact all the images have got a die on this one um, and there's also that as a standalone and that one as a standalone now this one I assumed that I could just die cut the two at the same time because that gives you a frame now when I did it the first time I hope you can see this in fact let me put it on here you will better see it can you see how very wonky that is these that side just get thicker and thicker that one gets thinner and thinner likewise on that side that one thick there and thin there you know it's a real mess absolute mess so I don't recommend that you do the two of them together the way I found that I got an absolutely perfect shape was I die cut one first the big one and then I put the little die on top of it and cranked it through again and that way I found that this came up beautifully really really beautifully so that's that one and that's called the stamp set is first frost and the um, dies are called frosted okay I have to say it's quite time consuming for me when I first get a big order because this is what I do with all of my dice uh, my stamps and my die sets um, I also put the name I don't know whether you've noticed but I put the name of the die set there and on here that's the name of the stamp set so I can pick up one and I know what the other one is that it goes with right so this I love this I will be colouring this like nobody's business these really are my kind of um, images and the stamp the dies that go with this I don't think any oh yes this one goes with that um, that must go with that one I suppose yeah I think that's to go with that one anyway there are lots of um, standalones 
like this one here for the poinsettia that is that's two dies there there's an outside and an inside so if you only did the inside one that would stay inside your cardstock like that one if you want to actually cut it out you need to use the outside one okay same sort of idea as that there's that one which is um, a standalone so you could put your green um, foil or cardstock or whatever underneath with red under those ones um, that is if you use the outside die there on its own these are all standalone oh no no I remember what this one was you had that there which cuts out the bits okay so if you if this was your layer okay it would cut out that that and if you had another color underneath like foil or glimmer paper they would all show through but when you die cut that you get these coming out of it as well okay so I've saved those and then you get two corners which are these so again that would be on your layer so you could put another colour underneath. I hope that makes sense. Um, again, another beautiful set and so much that you can do with it. Um, let me just be putting some of these down on my little table here before they start falling. No, come on. No, no, no. I think that's okay. Right, the last one. Oh, where's my stamp set? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Gotta say, I've lost my stamp set. Now, this one, Tags and Tidings, again, something really quite different. Um, this is one stamp. I'll bring it up closer so you can see what the individual images are. And not only does it have one stamp to stamp all of that, it's also got one die to stamp all of it as well. Okay, so you just stamp it out and then that would go over there, cut all of these out for you and you finish up with all of those and what I did to get it on here was once I had die cut it, took that one away, all of these were still sitting in the die so I left it on my cutting mat, put the glue on it and then tip this on top, picked it more up so I've got them all in the right directions. I'm quite pleased with myself. I wanted to put that one on there as well but as you can see just not enough room but that just goes to show you how it all comes out. Okay, can't really see it so well against the desk. But there we go, there's that one. That's Tags and Tidings and this one's called Christmas Tags. Right, so that's all of my um, stamp sets. Now I'm going to show you the glimmer paper but I'm also going to show you at the same time the um, designer series paper that goes with that set because the glimmer paper comes in these three colours and they are Tranquil Tide, Copper and Merry Merlot and it's all part of the Joyous Noel suite. Well, this DSP, which I showed you in the previous video, this is the Joyous Noel design series paper. So I thought I'd just bring this over to show you why these two go together. So first of all, this is the Tranquil Tide. You can see the shine on that. Okay, so those two to go together and that goes with it as well because it's all copper. There's that one. And then there's that one with the copper and the tranquil tide. Okay. There's another one with the copper on it. This is just so well thought out by stamping up. It's just Superb. Now we're coming on to the Merry Merlot with the copper. Okay, so there's those two. Don't they look brilliant? I love this. Right, let's put those. 
and now we've got the in fact we've got all three colours here because we've got the Merry Merlo, the Copper and the Tranquil Tide. So we can mix and match with those as much as we like. I think that's the last one, wasn't it? Yep. So there we go. I had to show you that again so that uh, you could see how well they all go together. Right, I'm going to start stacking these over there now. And then the next one I have to show you is we have some black foil, which is absolutely stunning. I know that this is going to be really popular for Halloween, but I don't do Halloween. Um, but this is going to be absolutely fabulous for Christmas. Imagine the nights and the snow and oh, absolutely gorgeous. Really pleased with that. And then we have this. And it is called Galvanised Metallic Paper. It's on both sides. That's just a bit of cardboard that came with it. Um, and to go with this suite, and I've forgotten to make the note of it, um, there's also a tin tile dynamic embossing folder. So what I did was I took some of this, cut it, and I put it through the embossing folder. And look at this. Isn't that absolutely stunning? I wonder what it's like. Yep, it's just as lovely on the back side. On the, <laughs> not the back side, on the reverse side. But I think I prefer this one. Isn't that gorgeous? And I must just tell you, this paper here is not going to be available in Australia. Um, the reason being, if I remember correctly, this paper is made in um, Italy and there is something about the process of it that the Australian authorities aren't happy about um, but Stamping Up are working with Australia to see what um, they can do about it um, so for the time being in the Australian catalogue it will be silver foil that's on offer instead of this until um, Stamping Up can get it sorted out for you um, but apart from that, that's the only thing, you still get this. And I was going to do this in silver foil as well to show you. Um, but I just decided I was running out of time. But it will look absolutely stunning. Right now, the next thing I am going to show you, I'm going to bring these over. These are all the new colours of our stamping blends in the new catalogue and the reason I've done a little test thing and I'm doing it like this for you is because these two here are dark real red and light real red now I will put my hand up and say they do not look anything like red okay but the inside is real red okay so what I did was I got myself a piece of paper this is the real red I went over three times on both of them and then I got my real red marker and I did that and look they are almost spot on even though the colors there aren't what we would say are real red okay so when you get yours don't be put off by the fact that these are quite pink. The ink inside is really, really red. It's a really good Christmas red. And this is, um, let me just put these back up again. Uh, Tranquil Tide. I tested Tranquil Tide because of, this was the light Tranquil Tide. And that is quite like um, Coastal Cabana if you like. Um, but I've done that and that is my marker pen and that is the stamp and blend. They are as close as it, it would be possible to get them, I'm sure. Um, they are amazingly close. So again, don't be put off by the colours of the caps on these. 
it is what it says on the label on the inside and that is what counts this one here was a uh, lovely lipstick okay now that's really very very pink there but lovely lipstick is a very deep pink almost bordering on red so that is my um, lucky lovely lipstick marker pen and that is really really close and the other one that I thought was a looked a bit doubtful is the Cajun craze now to me that was nothing like Cajun craze so I tested it and that is my marker pen and that is a dark one okay I'm gonna bring them right up close to you because they are so close I'll turn it sideways so you can see I hope the colour is coming through correctly on the camera but in real life they are absolutely spot on so please please don't get worried when you see the colours on the outsides because inside it does what it says on the label the colours are there and they are absolutely stunning so I'm really really thrilled with those so I'm going to move those out of the way now the next thing I want to show you are these and these are baker boxes baker's boxes and they are food safe okay so they come in a packet and they're flat pack like that they have the acetate here the window and they are very very easy to put together you just fold them on the fold lines Now obviously you can decorate these, you could, um, I'm not quite sure how you'd get on with embossing them because they are quite a size, but I'm certainly going to have fun trying. Um, you could stamp on the outside, you can cover them with um, designer series paper, absolutely masses of things. And the finished size of the boxes, I think I measured it to two and a quarter inches deep and four and a quarter inches square. Okay, so you just do all of those. Now, what I did, this is my completed box, okay? And what I have done is I have actually glued those two down and I glued that one down. So let me show you. So just hold those up like that. This one comes up and over and it's got little tabs on there which goes through those little holes down there okay and that is what will hold that in place and then those go in fold over and that's it okay although this is food safe this could be used for loads of other gifts and things like that um, I'm have a mind to make some um, little note cards or gift tags to put in there. Um, sorry, let me go back to the glue bit. What bit did I glue? So I glued this one where that goes in the holes there. So what I did was I put a little bit of glue on those two so that it glued there. And then I put glue on the back here. So as that folded over, that glued down and made sure that those came in and then I put a little bit of glue on there and a little bit of glue on there but I would not put glue on it if I was putting food in here just in case okay so I that's not going in very well this one's better um because I took my time with this um, but yeah I will be doing projects with this and sharing them either videos or on my blog um, but what a beautiful size that is love those they come in a pack of 10 I think let me just see if it says it on the packet it should do oh packet of eight so there we go um, right now working my way round to make sure I don't forget anything I have this ribbon which is called something like glitter 
black glitter glittered organdy ribbon three eighths of an inch or one centimeter and there's ten yards of it now on this I'll bring it right up close to you let's move that out of the way so you can see it's like a chiffon ribbon so I'm showing you the right side here so that you can actually see the glittery bits if I can get this in the right position yeah there you go isn't that gorgeous absolutely lovely now on the other side because the glittery bits are stuck on this side on the back on the reverse side it still looks glittery but it's got the net over it or the chiffon okay um, I think that's on the um, Halloween pages but because I got the black foil for Christmas cards I'm having this for Christmas cards too. Um, then I bought a pack of three Baker's Twines and I've forgotten what colours these are. Um, that was Mossy Meadow. That was Very Vanilla. Now was that Mary Merlot or was it Cherry Cobbler? Hmm, don't remember. But three definite Christmas colours. And do you remember in the, um, what catalogue was it? Was it the last spring catalogue we had? We had these clear little um, epoxy, what do we call them? Frosted and clear epoxy droplets. Now what we had before, um, they had some that were round like this and some that were like teardrop shaped. Now when they said droplets, I expected them to be like tear shapes. I'm very pleased that they're not because I think these are a lot more versatile. Um, but if you saw any of my videos when I did use these, um, I finished up chasing these around this little acetate they were on because they just weren't as easy to pick up as the um, rhinestones and the pearls. But um, now that we have the new uh, Take Your Pick tool, um, that's not going to happen to me again. Now the final thing that I'm going to show you, she says, having a look around, make sure she hasn't forgotten anything, um, is something that I have left over from when Stamping Up had them before and they are bringing them back in the new catalogue. And it's these little shimmer paints. Okay. Um, I can't remember quite how to use it. I'm going to have to go back and refresh my memory. But I do remember, as you can see, I never used this one. I did this. Um, and this one's called Champagne Mist. This one is called Frost White. And there will be another two colours this time. Um, but it adds a beautiful bit of glimmer to your um, work. And there's a little, like, uh, ball bearing type thing in there to help you shake them up. Um, so I haven't ordered the other two colours. I will do. They are on my list. Um, but as I say, even as a demonstrator who gets discount, I still can't afford to buy everything in the uh, catalogue, even though I'd like to have probably about 85% um, of it. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. I hope you've enjoyed that little walk through um, the products that will be available to you in what must be about three weeks now. So that's not far away. If you have any questions, um, please leave them in the box below or email me at jambi at jambicards.com. Always very happy to help you. Many thanks for joining me today. Until next time, happy crafting. Cheerio.